use. Well, my check engine light's still there. Whatever. That could be a gas cap, that could be in half a dozen things. I know. I just want to let it heat up and see if it smokes and just let it smoke if it does. Got enough gas? I gotta get gas too. Your first chance you get? Yeah. Take it to Advance Auto or, or right somewhere over there and have them replace those terminals. They got the tools to do it with the tempers and all. Okay. It seems to idle better. Yeah, you heard it pick up? Yeah, it does that sometimes. It's it's readjusting itself. It isn't as loud, is it? I like it like that's why I wanted to get it on, because I'm over here at like twelve o'clock at night going through like apartment comp like big apartment complexes to the back, letting my car idle there while they take forever to get to the fucking door. And then by the time they open the door I'm like, God, I'm such an asshole because I, I started pulling out, it's like <laughs> Like, I'm like, fuck. Also, like I said, it's been stalling out. Unless I, like, turn the wheel a certain way, then in the, it's, like, coughs and, like, wants to kind of jerk and, you know. Seems to be idling better, though. Yeah. Drop the hood. Just let it sit for a bit. I don't know what, what the what the fucking check engine light could be for though. I had what was it, that van of ours check engine light. They checked my then they checked this, they checked that, and never could figure out why it was staying on. Guy told me I could reach up under there and cut the wire and just like nah, I don't go cutting any wire. And then something else happens. And know how much better my car is going right now with the, the new cat it still wants to kind of sputter and I still got my CEL or check engine light but the car reacts a little bit better on a throttle and it feels more solid with braking because you know vacuums and ABS but oh, I'm still getting backfires but it's it sounds a lot smoother and a lot more together so uh, I'm gonna keep trying to figure this shit out and uh, wish me luck. Well, after we replaced the header, I sputtered out after like drag racing this fucking Dodge downhill and it was stupid, but he pulled on me as a lot of torque. Anyway, point is, car started sputtering after pulling the Walmart Plaza, tried later, letting it cool down, did the same thing. Uh, went over everything, tightened up the bolts down here, took the battery off for like 30 minutes, let the battery reset. Clean the fucking mass airflow because it was smoking when we turned the car on with the the new fucking cat So I figured maybe something got up in here dirty this because the pipes and everything were hot up here. So See how this goes All right, we are cruising down 301 uh, My car sputtered out after I was racing a big fucking V8 Dodge truck on a downhill back and forth through the hills of Zephyr Hills Fucking, that was stupid of me. I, I, I didn't let my fucking ECU really, like, I guess, uh, adjust to the the new header, which is really smooth with the car, but it's still it's still a little jumpy. Fucking Frank got me, and as he got there, my car is running now, and I can go, but when I tried to take off from Walmart and back onto the hot main highway, it was just sputtering and acting fucking stupid. So, here we are. Going back down to fucking Tampa because, well, I'm fucked and I guess it's, it's running fine now, but we'll see how it runs in the